So this question says, a rectangle was altered by increasing its length by 10% and decreasing its width by P%. Percent. So let's talk about that. So I have a rectangle with X length and Y width because I don't know what those are. But then I know I'm going to alter that rectangle so that the length is 10% longer. So 10% longer, um, it's like saying 100% of where you started off with, right? So the original X plus 10%. Another way to write that is 110% which as a decimal is just 1.1. So I'm gonna call that 1.1x, right? So 1.1x represents a 10% increase in the length. And then um, the width was decreased by P percent. So I'm gonna just say Y, um, blank Y, right? So if P percent were 5%, then that blank would be 0.95, right? I'm starting off with 100% of Y, then I'm subtracting 5% or subtracting five, so I'm left with 95%. So I understand that this value, right, could be anything less than 100, basically. Um, less than one as a decimal, actually. So what do we know? What else are we told? If these alterations decrease the area of the rectangle by 12%, what is the value of P? Well, what is the area of the first rectangle? I'm going to call that A1, right, and call this one A2. Well, in order to find the area for the for the first rectangle, I just multiply x times y. So area for first rectangle must be x times y. How do I find the area for the second rectangle? For my a2 must be 1.1x, right, because that's the base, times the height of this blank y. Again, I don't know what that, what that value is. And I'm okay with not knowing what that value is because the question is asking what the value of p is, and all these numbers here represent the value of P, right? I know these are percentages, so this is really 12%, 15%, 20%, 22%. So I can probably figure out, um, I can probably figure this out. So if these alterations decrease the area of the rectangle by 12%, so what does that mean? That means that A2 is actually equal to 12% less than A1, right? So it's like A1 minus 0.12 or 12% of A1, which in simpler form is just point or 0 0.88, 88% of A1. So A2 is equal to 88% of A1 or 0 0.88 A1. So how do I put all this together? Really, I'm going to use this equation here. Right, so A2 is that. So I'm going to just replace A2 with 1.1x times blank y. And I still have my 0 0.88. And A1 is really this, right? xy. So I'm going to replace, point eight. I'm going to replace A1 with xy. And now I'm going to simplify. And you'll see in a second here why simplifying is the best thing to do because I'm trying to figure out what's in front of this y. And watch, when I divide both sides by 1.1x, I get blank y equals 0.88 divided by 1.1. Put that in my calculator. So that's going to be 0.8y. And this actually tells me that this blank here must be 0 0.8. Okay, so now do I see a 0 0.8 as an answer choice? No, I don't. What does this 0 0.8 actually represent? Well, 0 0.8 represents the 12% decrease, right? It represents what I expect, or the P% percent decrease. That's here. So how would I get to 0 0.8 if I started off with 100% of my width and I decreased it by P%, percent, right? I end up with only 80% of my width, or 0 0.8. That means that I must have decreased the width by 20 percent right so whatever y was here i decrease it by 20 percent and that's why y over here would become 0 0.8 times y right again because 0 0.8 is the decimal form of 80 percent and if i decrease 100 percent by 20 percent i'm left with 80 percent